Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great and today I have an unboxing and review of a hot plate that was sent to me by DF Robot. Uh, thank you very much Shirley for your um, help and um, it was shipped with FedEx and it came with the regular FedEx nylon uh, packaging and it is in this box and I presume it is uh, double boxed which I do like so let's open this and here you can see some paperwork those styrofoam bits always good for repurposing packaging material let me throw this on the floor and uh, I presumed correctly and this is the box of the item and it comes of course if it's double packed like this without any damages which is very very nice most companies just put this into a bag and ship it out and then it comes all banged up but I really like this and these are also good for repurposing to save the planet a little bit and here we go this is the mini hot plate preheater from miniware and I do have a couple of items from miniware by the way their um, screwdriver and their soldering iron and these are the quality of them is all real really top-notch and I don't expect anything less from this let's see if this has yes it does have a seal top and bottom and let's open it up and here we go it is tiny but perfect for my i can't get it out there you are come on come out oh, that is really tight in here am i missing something this glued in here oh boy is this thing tight in here so this is it and I do like small things I do like stuff with OLED displays and this is just so nice don't touch hot plate obviously silicone cover very nice and I do have the many like small PCBs and for those these are perfect to do on the desk and not to have to use my reflow oven and this comes off here it is pluggable and the quality is just top notch i mean there is nothing to say about against it uh, this is metal not plastic and it's just a it's like art it's like my cnc lathe <laughs> and what do we else we get what else do we get cable Oh, that's a nice way to open it. Normally it would open like that. Well, I'm a little bit picky, so I do like attention to detail. This is a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. And it does come with an adapter. Which some items do not. Okay, this opens like that. And I was actually gonna buy a USB adapter because this is supposed, I'm, I'm sure it is a 
higher wattage and now I don't have to anymore I can use this one uh, see how picky I am I don't want to put this on the table and uh, Chinese I'm sure there is English as well and here we go oh it's even in German as well Sicherheitshinweise how many languages is this? Chinese, now English and German, uh, English, yes, and German, perfect, I can all of them, except Chinese. <laughs> so, let's check this out with you, what it is, it is, uh, doesn't say, I'm sure this thing comes off for different oh look at that for our friends overseas that want to use this for a US plug there you go perfectly the perfect solution how much what is this goes 15 volts 3 amps 15 volt 3 amps, it's 45 watts. Oh, it says it's 65 watts. It says it on the front, and it's perfect. I don't have to buy a power brick anymore. Yay! This I can use all the time. And, um, well, this is for the initial unboxing. Man, I'm picky. And, uh, I will of course put a link in the description to DF Robots website and if I'm allowed to I will also put a affiliate link in there and oh man this is silicone wire it's so nice to the touch so this will definitely be used all this time even if I don't use the hot plate and I will show you of course how it works for the PCB but anyway this is the first part of the video I will put it uh, together in segments and thank you again Shirley I really really appreciate it and this was on my wish list for a long time I talked to Miniware directly and they did not send it to me for review. They did. Well, actually, they did one of the screwdrivers. I have actually two. The other one is here. So, one of them was sent to me by another company and one of them was sent to me by Miniware directly. But they never sent me this. But thanks to DF Robot, I now have it and I will definitely use it for single projects. Nice box, nice packaging, nice product, beautiful. So in the next segment, I will fire this thing up. It also has some feet that you can open up for stability. So it doesn't tip over. It would not because it does have a weight to it. If you want to know, I'm sure it says on the box how much it does weight. Uh, no, it does not, but I will tell you in the next segment. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so I did the first test. And here are the safety instructions that you can read if you wish by pausing the video. And here we have the technical data. The heating area is 30 by 30 millimeters, which is of course correct. And it's just perfect for my Polydino boards. And the temperature range, range is 100 to 350 degrees Celsius, which is really high, 350 degrees. Anyway, you have 
3 preset temperatures 220 250 300 output power 60 watts input voltage 20 volt max and here you have the colors uh, currently is on green it's plugged in lower than 50 degrees uh, the hot plate um, cools down very slow so be careful even when it's green it's less than 50 degrees but that's still hot enough to burn your finger and uh, here you have the temperature adjustment mode how it is how it works and uh, you can also upgrade the firmware if there is a new one coming out so let's do this i hit uh, there's two buttons on the back a and b if you shortly hit the a button it starts heating up as you can see right now it's on m1 so it will heat up to 220 degrees and i put the plate on here already and this is just a plate uh, PCB that I uh, took off the chip. I don't know if it was working or not. I might have used it somewhere else. So we just take the other parts off not that I needed, but just for demo purposes. So <clears throat> almost 100 degrees. I might fast forward this if I can in my video editing software. Or you can do it as well if you want. And um, that's actually perfect for, well, reflowing small PCBs like that or changing parts out if they're damaged or just doing um, repair work general or doing it yourself. You can also use the NeoPixel sticks and to change out NeoPixels or LEDs for that matter. Uh, it did emit some little smoke, which says it also in the description that it's normal because uh, uh, it's heating up for the first time. And now you can see there's, well, you can't see in the video, but I can see that it's actually hot. And here I can just pick up the pieces. And now it's... Uh, red LED the LED turned red which means it's over 200 degrees and you can see how I can easily take out the parts or change it around or whatever Let's see yeah that is desoldered as well and the switch not that I'm gonna desolder SMD parts and reuse them because that's like pennies and it's not worth the trouble to go through but if you have to um if you have to change parts out or whatever then it's useful of course another one there and uh, this is just perfect for me perfect for my pcbs and if I have to repair a PCB, if I have to change out the 328 mega chip, for example, I cannot do it in the reflow oven because as soon as I take it out of the reflow oven, it will cool down and then it will have to take it out while it's in there and uh, probably burn my fingers on the heater or whatnot. And it's just far more difficult to do. But having a hot plate like this, it's just perfect. So this was to repurpose PCBs or parts of it or repair it and I will also make a new PCB and reflow it and show you that. And to turn it off you press on the B button for a long press on the B button and then it turns off and then it cools down. And I did measure it with my uh, temperature gun here. It's cooling down, passing 200 degrees right now and going down 198, but that takes a really long time. 
It just shows how heat efficient the ceramic plate is on here. But this is how you can use it for repair work. And I really like it. I like the build quality of it. Obviously, I mentioned that before. And it just, I like that it's small. I mean, there are bigger ones if you need for bigger PCBs, obviously. But this is uh, perfect because most of my boards are small. And um, yeah, this is it. So I'm up to the next segment.